Hey, Paula, are you still not home yet? I didn't hear you come in or anything if you did. Oh, hey, Terry. Are you already at home now? Yeah, I am, actually. I was able to get off work just a little bit earlier than usual, thankfully. I see. Yeah, sorry, I'm not home yet. I'm just out at a cafe with a friend catching up a little bit. I hope that's all right. I was going to come home right after this. Oh, is that what you're doing? Which cafe are you at? I can go and pick you up if you'd like. Oh, no, you really don't have to do anything like that. I was really just about to start heading home now. Would you mind if I asked you to make dinner tonight, though? I didn't have a chance to prepare anything. Yeah, I don't mind cooking at all, but... Well, do you think you've been going out maybe a little too much these days? Hmm, I haven't thought so. But do you think I've been going out too much? A little bit, yeah. I mean, obviously there is nothing wrong with having plans and doing things out of the house. It just feels like you're always out and doing something and never home, though. But there's nothing really wrong with that, right? I mean, you and I don't even have kids or anything, so it's not like there's anyone waiting for us at home. I guess you have a point there, yeah. Or are you just trying to tell me that I should be going out too much because you thought you married a housewife? I guess I should probably just be waiting at home for you every day, only thinking about keeping the house clean and feeding you. No, Paula, of course I don't think that way at all. You know I would never say anything like that. I just think that maybe you've been acting a little weird is all. I don't know, it just feels like you're acting coldly towards me lately. How am I acting coldly towards you? I, I literally just said I was about to go home because you were asking. I know that, but whenever I get home from work, you just go straight to the bedroom and don't come out. I feel like we have barely even seen each other at all this past month. Well, I'm sorry, but I'm tired. Besides, there's nothing wrong with trying to go to bed at a reasonable time. I'm not saying that anything you're doing is bad. Just that it's affecting me a little. If what I'm doing is only affecting you, then maybe you should keep all your griping to yourself. I'm sure that you think life is so easy just because I don't work, but, but I still have a lot of things I need to do every day. So I'm sorry, but I really don't need you telling me when I should and shouldn't be home. I know what I'm doing and I know when I need to rest, okay? You're right. I'm really sorry about all this. Forget I said anything. I guess I was just a little worried is all. And what are you worried might be happening, Terry? I don't know. I just really feel like we haven't been talking at all for a while. Some days it feels more like we're roommates than a married couple living together, you know? I don't know what you want me to say. We've been married three years. It's only natural that we would find less and less things to say to each other. Honestly, I'm the girl here and you're the one crying to me about your feelings. Have you always been such a sensitive little boy? I'm not being a sensitive little boy. I just want to have a life where I'm happily living with you. Well, I am plenty happy where we are, thank you very much. Anyways, I'm getting off the bus right now, so I'll be home soon. Okay then, sounds good to me. See you soon, I guess. Anyways, just hurry up and get dinner ready, okay? Once I get home, I just want to eat, get into the bath, and then go to sleep. Paula, please, you have to come home. We really have some things that we need to talk about right now. I already told you everything that I have to say to you, okay? I want a divorce. Why is that so hard to understand? I'll pay you alimony or whatever you want. But I want this, and I'm not going to change my mind. I know, but I mean, are you really going to divorce me just to remarry my brother? I don't get it. How did this happen? W when did this all happen? And to think that you were so close to getting it, too. 
You even said that I was acting strangely recently, right? Remember, you were complaining about how often I was going out and things like that. Did it ever cross your mind that it was because I met someone special? So you mean that this whole time, you two have been... No, I don't believe it. I don't want to believe it. I mean, how could you leave me for my own brother? If you wanted to cheat on me, fine, but not with him. I just couldn't help myself. It's not really my fault. I mean, Mark is just such a cool guy and it makes me happy being with him. So, then when did you first two start seeing each other? Mm, do you really want to hear the whole story of how we got together? Why would you put yourself through something like that? I just... I want to know for myself. Please, the least you can do is give me some kind of explanation for why you're doing this. Besides, this is still within my family. I have a right to know. God, you're so annoying. Do you know that? Mark already said that he would be willing to pay you to settle the affair. Why can't that just be the end of it? Well, I tried calling Mark too, but he wasn't picking up his phone. I can't get in touch with him or my parents. Well, we already know what they would say. All of you warned me to stay away from Mark, but you had no idea what you were talking about. I really think you're making a mistake. Are you really going to go through with this? Are you and Mark really going to get married? Was I really that bad of a husband to you? There you are again, sounding like a cute little girl with all your crying and moping. This is why I chose your brother over you. Sure, you're a nice guy who can be sweet and all. But Mark... Well, I mean, what else do I have to say? But you've seen how much money he makes. So then this whole thing has just been about money to you. Nothing more than that? What are you talking about? You are the one who told me that I needed to cut back on my spending, don't you remember? But I only said that because you were going out to eat so often and having food delivered all the time. That and you were always using our credit cards just to buy expensive things that we didn't really need. Well, I'll have you know that your brother never once told me that I couldn't buy whatever I wanted. And after we get married, he said I don't even have to keep the house clean for him. He told me that I would never have to work a day in my life. I really don't know what else to say this, but I really don't think that you should trust everything Mark says. What do you mean? You're just jealous because your brother stole me away from you and you're being a sore loser. Man, you really are just a big crybaby, do you know that? This is the kind of stuff that I left you for, just so you know. I'm sure it sounds that way right now, but I'm really trying to warn you. I mean, you remember when we got married? I also told you that you should probably try to keep your distance from him, remember? I mean, even you weren't a fan of him when you two first met. Yes, but that was then, when I didn't know how much money he actually made. I asked him on one little date, and in the span of it, he proved to be a charming, interesting man. Not to mention the fact that he runs his own business. Obviously, you're just jealous of how much more successful Mark is than you. Even Mark has noticed it, though. He says he uses your sibling rivalry to help fuel him towards future successes. I never really thought that we had any kind of rivalry before now. Really, if anything, Mark is just kind of known for always causing trouble for the family. You mean that he caused trouble for the family because he was busy getting his career on track? But now he's a huge hit and him and I are going to live happily ever after. Are you really sure about this? You're not going to regret any of this at all. Of course I'm not going to. Mark loves me, and I love him, and we're going to live together, and Mark is going to give me whatever I want without ever asking anything of me. He promised that he would. It's perfect. <laughs> well, if you're really sure about this, then. But I just ask that you wait a little longer before I go and turn in the divorce papers. <sighs> Are you serious? Why would you make me wait? I want to get married, and you're just standing in my way because you know that you can. 
I'm sorry, but I just can't sign these right away. Just because you asked me to. I just need a little time to process things, okay? Fine. How about I give you until the end of the week, okay? But I don't want to be kept waiting any longer than that. Just let me go live my best life already. Hey, Mom. Are you there? I just wanted to apologize for everything that's going on. Oh, Mark. I was just thinking about you. How are you doing? Well, I've been better, that's for sure. But I think that I'll be okay. I do want to try talking to Paula at least one more time, though. Although I don't really think she's interested in doing any of that. Oh, I see. Well, that really is too bad. That and she seems to think that I'm a crybaby. Like when she gave me the divorce papers for me to sign, I asked her if it was too late to fix things between us. I understand how you feel, son. All of this is happening so suddenly and you must be struggling to take it all in. But the thing is that I've actually thought that Paula has been acting strangely for months now. But anytime I tried to ask her about it, she would just pretend to not know what I was talking about. And since I didn't want to annoy her, I dropped the subject in the end. Well, that makes sense, though. No one wants to cause conflict or arouse suspicion with your partner. We want to think that we can always trust the people that we care about. But it seemed that Paula has made her decision, hasn't she? And that brother of yours, what are we going to do with him? I know. I was so shocked that he would do this to me. I'm still not over it. Well, I think that it's more than fair to say this is all his fault. Maybe it's mine, though, too. Maybe I should have been more strict with him growing up. I don't think it's that, Mom. Mark is an adult now, and he is responsible for his own decisions. Oh, I agree with you. I just meant that maybe I should have cut him off a long time ago. If I had done that, then maybe none of this would have happened. You mean like stop talking to him entirely? Who knows really, but either way it doesn't change what's going on right now. Well, so then what do you want to do about this? When I was talking to Paula earlier, she told me that she was getting with Mark because he says he makes more money than me. Wait, did he really say that to her? But what's wrong with how much you make? You live very comfortably. Apparently he makes more than me, and that was all that Paula needed to hear. I really didn't think she was that kind of person. Terry, honestly, I think this could be seen as a good thing. You should sign these divorce papers. If Paula and Mark are really going to be like this, then you don't need them in your lives any longer. Mom, do you really mean all that? Of course I do. We should just cut them off and watch them struggle on their own. Struggle? But Paula doesn't really make it sound like that's what either of them have in mind. Terry, do you know what your brother does for a living? Well, Paula told me that he said he runs his own business. But I haven't really talked to Mark in years, so I don't know myself. If I'm being honest, I really have tried to keep my distance from keeping up with Mark's life after all the trouble he caused you, Mom. Well, I am sure that Terry has way less than he's letting on. And I'm sure that he's lying about his job as well. How can you be so sure about that? Why would he lie about something like that? I really hate to talk like this about my own son, but I don't think there's anything else that can be done for him. Those two have made their own decisions and we need to leave them to face the consequences of them. I think that you should sign those divorce papers and send them out as soon as you can. Well, even Paula was bugging me to do so. Maybe I should, yeah. You're only delaying the inevitable. You know that she isn't going to change her mind. You're right. I know you're right, but... Should I try fighting for her like a man or, or something? Son, you shouldn't let what Paula was saying get into your head. If you are aware enough of your feelings to be able to speak openly about them, no one should ever put you down for that. I think that it's not going to be easy for a while, but 
I think we both know that you are not going to fix things with Paula. In fact, if I'm being honest, I'm opposed to you even trying to do so with her. I was wondering when someone was just going to come out and say it. You're right. I need to do this. For me. I think what you need right now is some time by yourself to think about what's going on and what you want to do next. But just know that I am here for you, okay? I know things are really hard right now, but you're going to be okay. You're my son, and I'm very proud of you. Terry, long time no talk. How have you been? Paula, why are you texting me? What do you want? Well, I had the day off today, and I was just wondering if you were home right now. I am, yeah. But tell me why you're messaging me right now. I was just wondering if you wanted to see me at all. No, I don't. Besides, we're divorced, remember? Right, well, it's kind of about that that I actually want to talk to you, you see? I don't really see what there is left to talk about regarding you and I. You left me for my brother, and that's that, isn't it? I saw that you two got married, so congrats, I guess. But you just leave me out of your lives, okay? Why are you acting so coldly towards me right now? Please, I was lied to, and I'm feeling really, really awful enough already. You mean that you were lied to by Mark? Yes, that's right. He actually had no money at all. In fact, all he really had was a bunch of debt. Wow. I guess it really was just as my mom said. Hold on a second. You mean that you knew about all of this? Well, when you said he was running his own business, I thought that something might have been up, if I'm being honest. So I decided to do some digging into him after we broke up. What do you mean by that? What was up? What did you find? Well, Mark actually took out a loan so that he could try to start up his own business. But he asked our parents to sign for the loan since he didn't have enough credit. I think I remember hearing a little about this stuff. But his mind always seemed to be more on ladies than it was on the business. And I heard his management style turned very sloppy. Quickly. That's why my mom and I were talking about if you hadn't been tricked by him like so many others. When I was looking into Mark... I saw that he had taken out a second loan to try and invest in himself, but that he'd given up on his business afterwards. So then, what does that mean? I think it means that he was probably just scamming people. I mean, this is why you came to me to talk about this, right? But why didn't you say anything to me about any of this? You could have stopped this! I tried to warn you. I told you that I didn't think you should trust him, remember? But that's all you told me! You didn't give me any reasons or details! If I'd known that he was in so much debt, I would never have left you for him! I thought he was some kind of rich venture capitalist or something! Wow, well, that really sucks for you, doesn't it? You get what you put in, though, I suppose. But I thought he was rich because he would spend so much money on me on dates! I thought that he was doing really well! I can't believe he fooled me like this. I mean, you said yourself how charming of a guy he was. You do realize that that's a trait shared by a lot of con artists too, right? I was such an idiot. I thought he was such a great guy, and he said that he would buy me whatever I wanted, but... Then he betrayed me. I'm so sorry for all of this. I never meant for any of this to happen. Oh, that's fine. I'm pretty much over it. So then, you mean that you forgive me for all that I did to you? No, 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 no. Definitely not. You are nothing to me now, and I want nothing to do with you ever again. But I want to try and make things right again. I want to get back with you. You can't be serious about this, right? Of course I'm serious. I need you, Terry. You know, I never really knew just how low you might sink as a person until now. So... Thanks for showing me who you really are. But now, I don't feel anything for you at all. But you asked me not to get the divorce. You asked if there was any way that we could be together. And then we got divorced anyways. Remember that part? I really did love you, and I really did want to try and fix things. 
but it's been months since then. It's only been four months. Is that really so bad? You have no idea how sad I was after you left me. And for my own brother, no less. It was then that I realized the kind of person that you really were and knew that you leaving me was for the best. So then you really don't care about me at all anymore? I thought we could make this work. The only thing you're going to have to figure out how to work is how to live in debt with my older brother. If you really think that I'm going to let you run back to me after your betrayal, you've got another thing coming. I don't feel bad for you at all. What happened to you? You never used to be like this. You've gotten mean and angry. You're nothing like the sweet Terry that I fell in love with. Because all it took was my older brother waving around a little bit of money for you to leave me for him. How could I ever forgive you for that? But I'm sorry. I really am so, so sorry. Please, this is all wrong. I made a mistake. I realize that you're the most important person to me. I'm glad you found that out for yourself, but it's far too late for me. My mind is made up. You're only coming back to me for my money, aren't you? Please, I promise that I'll do anything you want. Whatever you need me to do so that you'll take me back, I'll do it. But that's the thing. I don't want you back. At all. Why do you think I would step in to help you after all you've put me through? You need to get a grip. Don't do this to me, Terry. Please. You are seriously too much sometimes. You left me for Mark because you thought he had money. And now that you realize he doesn't, you come running back to me? You are so transparent. Do you even realize that? No, I just realized that you're the one I meant to be with, honest. There you go, lying again. Well, it isn't going to work on me. Got it? I'm telling the truth. Please, you have to believe me. I'm so sorry for everything. I was an idiot, but you have to forgive me. How many times are you going to make me repeat myself? Nothing is going to change, no matter how much you beg. Terry... I'm begging you. You have to help me. Your brother asked me to invest in him, and I gladly took out a huge loan, thinking that I'd make it all back and more. Now I have nothing. Yeah, I already told you that he's a scam artist. You should have listened to me when you had the chance. But you fell for his charms, and now you're in serious trouble. Good luck finding your way out of it. After that, I blocked Paula's number. Although I have to say, I was surprised that she even messaged me in the first place. My mom guessed that she would though. But, by the time that she did, I was well and over my divorce from Paula and never wanted to see her again. Meanwhile, she was having to face up to her bad financial decisions. She decided to stay with Mark probably more out of desperation than anything else. But both my and her parents were furious at the couple and no one offered to give them any help. Paula had to start working to try and pay down her debt and the couple were soon at each other's throats every night. In the end, they split up and went to go live with their respective parents. <laughs>